Hey there guys, Nordic Warrior here, welcome back to my movie review series. Today we're going to be looking at the movie Father Stew starring Mark Wahlberg and Mel Gibson that came out quite recently. I actually meant to review this last week because I got to see this one at one of those unlimited screenings, but I had other things to do and I just didn't have the time. I saw the movie again on Friday, so I've watched it twice now. This was a movie that I didn't know much about going in other than the fact it was apparently a faith-based movie. It's based on the true story of a former amateur boxer turned Catholic priest named Stuart Long, who while in the process of becoming an ordained priest, is diagnosed with a rare condition called inclusion body meiosis. Now right off the bat, I don't personally know how accurate the movie is to the real life story of Stuart Long, because I haven't personally looked much into it. But from what I can tell from the research I have done, the overall core plot is pretty on point. In the beginning of the movie, Mark Wahlberg depicts a young Stuart Long as a boxer, taking way too much damage, and basically living life in the fast lane. After having a health scare, and failing a medical exam, he is forced to hang up the gloves, and move on with his life. He decides to move to Hollywood, and attempt to become an actor. Shortly after, he ends up in a motorcycle accident, which almost kills him. After the accident, he has sort of a near-death experience, and believes that he is called by God, to become a priest. That basically kicks off the main act of the movie, with Long training with the Catholic Church to overcome his problems and become a priest. One of the concerns I had about this movie initially is the fact that it's very clearly a serious movie, and Mark Wahlberg, in my opinion, is one of those actors who is just very difficult to take seriously. He's one of those guys who usually just tends to play himself in every movie that he's in, and it's very rare that you get a performance from him that's not unintentionally hilarious. And what I will say is that the early part of this movie does have an element of that. But maybe that's just my personal perspective because I've just never been able to take him seriously. But I don't really have an objective criticism for his acting performance, it's just Mark Wahlberg being Mark Wahlberg. As I mentioned before, Mel Gibson is in the movie too. He plays Stuart Long's dad and basically depicts him as a cynical old alcoholic. Is it me, or is that the role that Mel Gibson was born to play? I mean, he suits it down to a T. Yeah, and he does a good enough job. Mel Gibson has always been a great actor, and once again, he does a great job here. I'm starting to think too that Mel Gibson might actually be Mark Wahlberg's dad, because he's played his dad in a couple of movies now. Where the movie really gets interesting is when Long has his near-death experience and decides to become a priest. There are a few interesting themes on display, and the movie does a decent enough job at rationalising why it is that Long felt called to take up priesthood, and basically give up on his sinful lifestyle. It explains that he and his family were basically traumatised when he lost his brother at a young age, and he never really got over it psychologically. On a subconscious level, he always blamed God for what happened, and never really took responsibility for any of his own problems. When he had his near-death experience, he understood that salvation is what's most important, and just wanted to spread that message to others. Then when he was in training and got diagnosed with his condition, he initially thought that he was being punished, and couldn't make sense of it. But the way he ultimately rationalises it is that he feels that it brings him even closer to Christ, and ultimately gives him the humility and spiritual understanding that he's always been searching for. For example, the movie makes a big deal out of the fact that he put so much into his boxing career. It was something that always made him feel somewhat vulnerable, and the thought that he could die at any moment in that ring was something that made him feel in control of his destiny rather than God. When he learns to finally let go and put his faith in Jesus, that's when he really becomes who he was meant to be and is no longer bitter about what happened to his brother. The movie feels incredibly fast-paced for some reason, and many of the major plot points, such as Long's deterioration due to his condition, might feel rushed to some of you, but I suppose the movie had a thematic point that it was trying to make, and it didn't want to make it too morbid and drawn out like a lot of these types of movies often do. In terms of the overall acting, dialogue, and the technicalities of the movie, I don't really have any serious criticisms. 
One of the things that will likely put you off about the movie if you, like me, are an orthodox biblical Christian is the fact that the movie depicts Catholicism. And let's be honest here, a lot of people in the Christian community view Catholicism as unbiblical and really don't want to see it promoted at all. Now, I do originally come from a Catholic background, but I am a born-again Christian and I understand the criticisms of Catholicism. But what you have to understand is that the overall message of the movie, and of course the most important message of the gospel, remains the same. The movie is very clear about the crucifixion and resurrection of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, and expresses the importance of humility and repentance. And let's not forget too, this is based on a true story, and they have to be honest about the denomination Stuart Long was involved with. So looking at the movie as a Christian, I don't really have much of a problem with it, and it's entertaining enough, at least by 2022 standard, since most movies that come out nowadays suck, and it certainly makes a movie like this stand out a lot more than it would otherwise. That's just my opinion. I give Father Stu a solid 7 out of 10, and if you want to check it out, just be aware that this is a Christian movie, with a very honest and clear message, so obviously if that doesn't resonate with you, you likely won't enjoy it. But personally, I enjoyed it for what it was, and I don't really have any issues with it. Thanks for watching, guys. I may return to doing movie reviews from time to time, but it likely won't be the main focus of the channel anytime soon. Stay tuned for more content. Thanks for watching, and God bless.